Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, darling, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for July. All right. So if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, I'll let you in on a secret right up here, darling. There'll be a link to your monthly tarot reading as well. So check those out and let me know in the comments below, Scorpio, how my weekly readings and just readings in general, I suppose, resonate with you in the comments below. That's how I keep up with you guys. And it's always nice to hear from y'all. All right, Scorpio. Now, also remember, Scorpio, all right, it, when you are consuming tarot readings on YouTube, darling, it's really important for you to consume more than just your one zodiac sign consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign all right as well if you want a completely free way to support me scorpio uh the way you can do that is by just giving this video a like and subscribe <laughs> uh because it helps me out a lot and i really appreciate those who take the extra step to do that to support me all right scorpio so we're going to be getting into three rows for you your first row today is going to be covering your financial and career situation your second row is going to be dealing with your social life scorpio all right this could be the platonic relationship romantic family dialing something in the workplace all right the third row is my personal favorite which is where we get into predictions for you what's going to be happening for you scorpio just and also just tear messages that y'all need to hear currently at this time like the heads up all right but starting out this energy here scorpio we're starting out strong darling the six of wands coming in here i like this energy a lot for you scorpio because six of wands one is my favorite card in the minor arcana it represents um i know the artwork doesn't really so showcase it too well scorpio but the six of wands by definition represents uh public recognition it represents victory uh, accomplishments coming in here breaking the mold here being a trendsetter in a lot of ways where you be aware at this time scorpio that you have a lot of people watching your move your every move you're watching your actions watching uh just what it is that scorpio is up to you a lot of people find you interesting right now i also get like this sense for you some of you scorpios is that um there is like some other zodiac sign that had this come up for but it's just like this sense of like being a bad guy all right and y'all are getting like the same message of where it's just like it seems as if people are trying to find ways to make you the bad guy right they're trying to find ways to villainize you or to outcast you scorpio because you are so different from everybody else and so rather than seeing what it is that you're doing how you carry yourself how you speak scorpio from an objective standpoint because of how you carry yourself it threatens the these people it makes them uncomfortable and rather than seeing this discomfort from their side as something that they need to personally work on they're taking this in an aggressive way it's like they don't want to wake up right it's like you can't uh show people uh where it is that they need to develop here it's like almost like a lost cause it's the sense for you where i get like the sense for you a lot of you scorpio is like a lot of frustration when it comes to dealing with people because of their irrationality or just not being just not living up to the scorpio standard of how you would do things right so let's just get right into your cards this week here all right in your career scorpio we have the seven of wands six of cups and then the judgment energy stepping forward to you I get this sense for you, Scorpio, of where this gives me, one, you're receiving something, right? Six of Cups talks about receiving like a gift of some sort from other people. I feel like for you, Scorpio, I wouldn't be surprised if you start getting scouted out from other people. As I was saying before, you know, you remember that the Six of Wands is going to be covering all three of your rows here, all right? So it's the sense for you, Scorpio, where it's like as you continue doing your own thing as your hustle, like whatever it is that you are doing currently, Scorpio, I would just say like see if you can just push yourself even more to up the quality because again it's like as i was saying at the beginning like y'all are garnering a lot of attention from a, a bunch of people people are paying attention to what it is that you are doing scorpio all right and so in this dynamic here i easily see an opportunity for you to be scouted by like a competitor um, where it's like they want you to work with them or working together or getting insight from you depending on what your work dynamic is like here all right scorpio and i also get this sense for some of you just to be aware about some people trying to ask you for money all right scorpio that's something i need you to be aware about it's giving me like i have this like very specific message of where it's like someone's approaching you and it may not just be outright outright scorpio just asking for money but it's something that you're able to provide for them and they're asking for a handout all right and so i mean darling you do what you want to do but my natural instinct when it comes to when i was dealing with like tapping into this energy is kind of just like putting a wall between yourself and this energy here it's like the anytime like when you have an energy come forward to you scorpio this week wanting something take a few steps back and observe the situation wait for a little bit more detail all right so there's something 
uh, I don't know. There's something more to the picture. All right. So in your social life, uh, Scorpio, you have the six of swords, ace of wands and three of cups coming in here. All right. This is dealing with somebody. We're tapping into an energy or something that you walked away from. All right. You have a lot of past energy paying attention to you, even with that six of cups in the career aspect here. Maybe some old coworkers, old boss or what have you, old clients. Scorpio are paying attention to what it is that you're doing as well. But I'm noticing this sense, Scorpio, where it's like someone that you disconnected from. You considered them a friend. All right. Or it's like this desire that they want to be your friend or reconnect with you again here, Scorpio. You walked away from them because of the shady, shady dealings that they were. All right. I feel like for you, like what... Hmm, how do I put this into words, Scorpio? It's like you didn't like their character here, right? You didn't like what it is that they I don't feel like they did anything outright towards you maybe like a something like betrayal or you know spilling your secret or something like that Scorpio but it's more so I feel like for you it's like something about their character turned you off and so you put distance between yourself and them I see them reapproaching you here it's like this sense of where they can't get you out of their head here I feel like for you you kind of uh, shocked them a little bit where you're their first experience of someone being like you know what I don't really like your energy too much right and you went the other way here this is like someone who's trying to be a little bit persistent scorpio and getting you to notice them getting you to uh entertain them really here with that ace of wands is someone that finds you really desirable all right now speaking of desire darling with this ace of wands the ace of wands is the heart of this spread here all right and so this is the main focus of your energy here a lot of people as i said before scorpio it's like you're garnering a lot of attention but you're garnering that attention because of how desirable you're coming off to other people it could even just literally be like your personality and just how you carry yourself in your energy scorpio that people want to be around but it's that sense of where for you scorpio it's like you're a shining beacon right in a sea of darkness and you know just like you'll attract some like-minded people people that you might be interested in connecting further with scorpio you're also going to be attracting bugs you know you're going to be attracting the leeches as well so just be aware about like who's coming into your life and see it might be something that's uncomfortable for you uh scorpio but you need to value yourself more and understand that your connection what what people are trying to get from you is literally just something that you exude here so you need to raise your value and uh protect that value all right now getting into your predictions two of pentacles hermit with the queen of cups coming in here all right for you scorpio i feel like you're getting your everything kind of uh into place here i feel like you guys are organizing it seems like as if some of y'all are preparing to do something major here all right y'all are definitely cooking something up honey all right y'all are definitely cooking something up here i'm really going to be interested in uh tapping into this two of pentacles here because i feel like that's going to be talking uh about uh, exposing rather a lot for you guys here scorpio all right what i do see for you guys though is <clears throat> excuse me i see the uh the scorpios that choose to uh just keep their head down and be about their business be about what it is that they're trying to create what it is that they're trying to accomplish here that's where the success lies for you all right i feel like your biggest lesson this week scorpio is going to be coming in a place of where learning how to manage your time better having a better work-life balance having a better balance in general with like who you talk to who you give your energy to what you give your energy to all right i see for many of you guys scorpio it's because you're offering so much of yourself to other people to other situations that that's it's starting to lack for your own personal development scorpio and not to say that you're not developed darling but it's like it's like it's almost as if you're like long overdue scorpio for uh certain accomplishments in your life here not to say that um time is running out for you but it's just as if if you were to just allocate more just put your focus in on just yourself for a little bit scorpio you would be breaking down a lot of uh uh walls and barriers for you all right so for the scorpio that be is, that is about their business doesn't choose to go out all right and uses their time in a more productive manner greatly a lot of rewards associated with that so let's get into the clarifiers now scorpio all right so clarifying your first row with your career remembering that it was the six of cups seven of wands as well as that judgment energy let's take a look here all right six of pentacles coming in here as well as the two of swords darling okay and then we have the cherry energy uh coming in here back of the deck is the justice energy stepping forward to you mm -mm. 
it's interesting here uh scorpio i get this sense for you what's it's like you are settling somewhere uh scorpio i don't feel as if your talents your ability is being fully appreciated in the current ecosystem that you're in here all right that's where the imbalance is it's like one of those things where it's like someone walks into the place that you're working and it's just like scorpio what are you doing here like shouldn't you have like your own business shouldn't you like it's like the sense of where you are <laughs> you are just deserving of such a higher quality of an environment such a like you're just deserving you're this is the place where i would finally be saying for you scorpio it's like this is the time for you to be feeling entitled and i hate people when who are feel entitled here but this is kind of the sense for you all right is you're entitled to so much more than what it is that you're getting some of you guys scorpio may struggle with this idea of that sense of entitlement like i personally am i'm a libra scorpio cusp so i guess i can share in this but what i see for you guys here scorpio is that if you were to own a little bit of that entitlement energy where instead of questioning why it is that you are having certain success or what have you and you just accept it and you uh, acknowledge that you're deserving of what comes towards you all right you're going to be presented a crossroads where you can change up your life here all right but it is going to require you to shift from your current trajectory shift from your path i don't see you uh if you're wanting to put this change scorpio i don't see this happening through you um not making like not making a great change here like i don't see you working the same job if you're going to be do, uh, going into this new path here i don't see you in the same environment you have to take something up new in that way you have to make the choice there all right but it, it seems to be a much better payout for you and you know i also want to acknowledge the six of pentacles in most cases is portrayed by the um scales right and this is the libra energy right with the justice card so two different scales here so it's like that's where the imbalance is for you scorpio the imbalance is uh from a place of where you're you're just entitled to so much more <laughs> getting into your social portion now with that six of swords through your cups and ace of wands coming in here high priestess energy here nine of swords coming in here king of cups stepping forward with the empress energy in the back of the deck here all right all right so scorpio again you're getting all the cards that garner attention that talk about how attractive you are all right um you're getting all the cards that um, uh, amplify that so uh, there is this sense for you scorpio where it's like you are very much so the one that got away for more than one person i want to even be saying here just intuitively here i won't be surprised i get this sense for the rest of the month even i know this is a weekly reading scorpio but i won't be surprised if you just notice people from your past people that you walked away from people who you even have just like only have seen at like the grocery store scorpio people are going to just start approaching you more and more all right and i know that might not be something that you initially want to hear but it's like uh, people are really trying to s understand you to to see you clearer here all right so i don't know what it is that you're doing maybe you've been working on yourself working like scorpio like you 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 got it going on here you have a lot of people trying to understand you more all right a lot of people trying to understand you more <clears throat> but it's like they can't get you out like you are on a lot of people's minds <laughs> like i say that like with utmost confidence here scorpio it's not just like one specific energy here like in this social reading for you scorpio i don't feel like we're entirely just tapping into like i don't feel like we're tapping into just like one person for you i feel like we're tapping into a collective of like the people that you have blessed their life with your presence <laughs> all right are we getting a little bit carried away scorpio with that all right i'll come down but it's like the people that you've connected with i don't think you realize how much of an impact that you've had on people all right i'm being told um for you it <clears throat> I'm being told that you already have had like signs pop up. Maybe like you randomly started thinking about certain people, a bunch Scorpio that you normally haven't thought about. Maybe they've been popping up in dreams when they haven't been relevant. It's like someone that you have that hasn't been like people that haven't been relevant in your life in a bit in a hot biscuit. And now they're just out of nowhere, seemingly just like communicating with you. Does that make sense, Scorpio? All right, getting into your last row, darling, your two of pentacles, queen of cups with that hermit energy stepping in here. With your predictions, we have the temperance energy, five of swords, lover's energy, and then the back of the deck is the 
four of pentacles for you, darling. Okay, Scorpio. Have patience for yourself right now, Scorpio. Give yourself some grace. I don't feel as if right now you are going to be finding your tribe, Scorpio. You're going to be finding your place in the world. You're going to be finding a place of where you're going to feel comfortable of putting your roots into that place. All right. But right now is a time for you not to really try to make that happen currently. All right. Right now, you kind of just need to accept Scorpio of this place of where you have like a couple more battles to be going through, a couple more obstacles, a couple more lessons to go through here. All right. I know that not, might not be something that everyone wants to hear at this current point in time, Scorpio, understandably. You're tired, honey. You're tired. But I really do feel like for you, it's like this message for you is just like, keep on, you know, keep your head above water. Keep on pushing through, Scorpio. I'm being shown three right now. So maybe in like the next three weeks, three days, something happens here for you, Scorpio. But things are going to pick up. But don't take this. Don't leave this reading thinking that it's going to be just sun, sh sunshine and rainbows after you close out this reading. All right. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I do feel like there's just like some unfinished business. That's the best way to summarize it. It's like unfinished business that you have to manage still this week, Scorpio. So um, keep your head up. But you are going to get to your destination, darling. All right. That's for a fact. All right. Let's get into your moon oracle cards this week, darling. So you have the new moon in Taurus. This is literally what I was just saying to you, Scorpio, knowing your worth. Hello. I'm pretty sure it's like, unless I'm just crazy and I kept it in my head, Scorpio. But like, didn't I literally just have a conversation with you about this? I ain't going to expound on it just because I'm not sure if I actually did vocalize it or not. But like, I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh for you scorpio so it's just like yeah ex uh, acknowledge how valuable of a person like what you bring to the table that's what it is acknowledge what you bring to the table scorpio unapologetically and then you have the full moon in capricorn and gemini embrace the flow and a reality check here for you scorpio and that's really where the reality check is is where it's just like it's time for you to go to bigger and better waters all right you're getting too comfortable in a puddle of uh in a s small pond of tadpoles darling it's time for you to go to a lake all right darling so scorpio that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling remember if you want to get a monthly tarot reading by me be sure to check out the link right over here darling all right um but uh hopefully this gave you some clarity scorpio if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply Velka dot com linked next to my social medias tiktok and instagram if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level or just simply velka same as here darling scorpio but i love you so much and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future scorpio bye darling <laughs>